I spent all day yesterday working on the closet. I cleaned the whole thing out and I've got it all painted. It had this horrible color paint in there that was quite old, so it was due for a paint job. So let me show you what I'm up to. This is my closet that's turning into my office. <laughs> yes, that's about two feet wide and that's about less than four feet wide. And there's enough room for a chair to spin around in. And I, I oh, that's sweet, she left me a note. Anyway, so this has gone from closet to office. I need my own space, I decided. And I can do this. Close the door. So what I'm doing is I picked up another iMac off eBay. 130 bucks. It's a 2011, 21 and a half inch, and it already been upgraded and has a, a new, uh, I think it was 250 gigabyte SSD. So that supposedly is what speeds the iMacs up to where they're usable. Well, anyway, all that to say, she's going to get that iMac in my old office. Yeah, my old office, which also doubles as a guest room. So I want to get off the beaten path a little bit. We got a little too much traffic in this room, and I want to go into the closet where I can hide out. And she can, I'm going to set up that other iMac in here, clean it up for her quite a bit, and she can do all her barbecue stuff because she's getting catering jobs and stuff, and she's always doing stuff just to get on the computer to do quotes and all kinds of different neat things so she's very busy and sometimes we run into a time glitch you know we both want the computer at the same time so I'm gonna spread things out a little bit holy smokes that's a USB and there's one on this side too how come nobody ever told me about that all right I'm gonna put my uh, my passport it's a terabyte passport that's where I back everything up to I'm going to plug it in the side of here and I'm going to see how that works. I don't know if it's fast or slow or what the deal is, but man, just you got a iMac keyboard and don't know about the USB ports. That's something. I'm going to need quiet when I edit my videos. Uh, and the TV's right there, as you can see, right there. So I won't want to interfere with the TV watching, so I'll put on the headphones and I don't think they'll be able to interfere with me. These are Audio Technic headphones. This is the model Professional Monitor Headphones. Um, I don't know about professional monitor headphones that are 49 bucks on eBay. I mean, I'm pretty happy about it being 49 bucks. Comes with a 3.5 and then a quarter inch adapter. So I, I won't be using a quarter inch adapter, I don't believe, ever. Nice package, quick. But what I'd really like to say is the seller. Whether these headphones are good or not, this seller right here. The camera box, 45,495 transactions and 100% positive. Well, I'll tell you what, it made me happy because I ordered these on Sunday night. Just sitting on the couch watching something bored and thinking, hey, I can get some headphones. I started doing some searching. Um, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm plopping down on these on eBay, which is cool because I have them and it's Tuesday morning. So uh, I can't complain about that. Geographically, I'm kind of close to Brooklyn. It's probably a, well, three and a half hour, four hour drive. But FedEx, here they are, free, 49 bucks. I don't think you can beat that. I'm going to see how they are. Not just comfortable, but stylish too. And here's something I just figured out. On my Roku, I can plug it into that and listen to my television set. And my television sounds a lot better through these $49 headphones. Now I gotta be careful I don't set it up too too high. I'm at 68. That's a little high probably for most people, but since my hearing's going out the toilet. But this sounds good. It really does. I don't know about the lows and highs and how, but it sounds natural. It sounds natural to the TV. It sounds better than the TV speakers. Well, I just took a couple minutes and there's an echo in here. Well, it is a tiny, tiny, tiny office. <laughs> I feel like Les Nessman. Okay, anyway. Nice cord. It's supple. It's long. I got a whole bunch of it coiled up back there. I think it's six feet long, if I remember right. And I just listened to a couple songs, and I'm hearing stuff on this that I didn't know was in the songs. I mean, it really sounds good. There's no adjustments. I can't balance it, at least not on the headphones. There's, there's nothing on here. Probably not the most comfortable, although this is a nice... Nice cushion right here. It's nice and padded. I don't know what it is, like a vinyl. And the same thing here. These are padded and cushioned, but they're not super duper comfortable. I can imagine sitting here three, four hours and listening to them without any problem. 
I mean, they're better than my work tunes, which are, they're kind of neat too, but you know, wear them for a couple hours, your ears start to hurt. I don't know if these will do that, but I'm hearing a lot more than I normally hear. I do have some hearing loss. I am, you know, ever since my 30s, I had hearing loss. But I think for 49 bucks, why not? Am I wrong to hate peanuts? Ay, ay, ay. Not even sure what to do with all these. <laughs> but I can't say it's not packed well and it won't and, it, and there's no damage on the outside of the box. But these peanuts, they're just awful. I, I, I could fill a whole shop vac with these things. Oh well, enough complaining about that. Let's see how the new 2011 iMac 21 and a half inch whatever other specs I don't know because I not an iMac. Well I like the iMacs. My first iMac went down to the barbecue. But anyway, this thing is wrapped up. Really packaged. I'm amazed at how good this thing's packaged. It's got bubble wrap inside peanuts. Honestly, what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to fish around in here, make sure there's nothing in here I need. I'm just going to pull all the peanuts back in the box, close it up. Oh, probably going to need that. And if I find I'm missing something, I can always dig back through it again, but these things are a nightmare. All that complaining, but still. Good packaging job. I, I don't know as I've ever seen a better packaging job. The last one I got had soda bottles for spacers and stuff like that, which, you know what? That'll work too. I didn't have a problem with that. Okay, so I got bubble wrap that's taping cardboard to it. There's another layer of bubble wrap over the screen. Now this is the fatter body Mac. This is, I think, 11 is the last year for the wider body. Um, this is a thick panel on the side. Whereas my 27 inch, being a 2013 model, is thinner, but look what else I got in here. I got a DVD drive and an SD reader. We'll see how this little thing performs. I think it's got to be good enough to do the invoices she has to do. Getting on PayPal, getting on emails, responding to emails. This is the first one I had that was 21 and a half. The other ones I got are 27 and this is a lot less bulky. A lot less. Still kind of hefty, but that's okay. It's a desktop. It's going to sit here. But really, there's nothing to these things. They're so sleek. I like it. I hope it works with this other mouse I got here. It's supposed to work with either. So this computer is operating on High Sierra. And to be honest, I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, I put a little dongle in there for the keyboard and the mouse. And the uh, printer. Let's see what happens. Switches back here. Firing right up. I don't know if the keyboard and mouse are going to work though. Ooh, mouse works. keyboard isn't. Is there an on switch on the keyboard? Alright, we're already running into technical difficulty. I'll get batteries in this and I'll be back. Alright, he did give me the password, which is admin. I put new batteries in this keyboard. Let's see if it works. It doesn't. So, it could be this keyboard is just not going to work with this Mac. No, oh, it's working the volume, but it's not typing in admin. Well, I'm going to have to snag the keyboard off the other computer just so I can go ahead and get this thing working. That's what I'm going to do. Well, I didn't even get volume on this one. But I do have the mouse. Let's try a restart. We'll just see what happens with a restart. Maybe it'll know, maybe it'll recognize that it's got a keyboard now. I'm in. Oh, I won't identify the keyboard. Identify your keyboard. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard that can't be identified. Identifying your keyboard. <laughs> I just did the wrong key. <laughs> mm. 
Press the key only once and then I'll hold down the key for a long time. When the key is recognized, the next panel will appear. I should have read the fine print. I think you'll like this. It's got a beautiful display. Nice, nice screen. I really goofed up on this whole identifying the keyboard thing. So I'm going to close it. Settings. Let me go to settings. So I don't think it knows this keyboard. I think what I'm going to do is restart it again. I really goofed on that whole keyboard thing. Well, that worked. I think it's going to work for her. Woo-wee! Okay, I'm going to look up dual fuel generators. I could click on YouTube. I like this guy. Yeah, it's the All About RVs channel. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Dual fuel generator. Let me see if I can. Runs up. Oh, I just closed the whole thing. What I really want is the AI power. There it is. That guy right there. That's what I want. Ooh, and this is the cheapest price I've found so far. Is a factory pure. Okay, now I'll do something crazy. Go to file. Print. Print. Printer's whizzing up. Okay. No, I have a print of it. When I want to go buy it. Oh, it's going to print every page. I should have. <laughs> I should have. Uh-oh. I'm going to run out of paper. Well, I know it works. That's good enough for me right now. So, All right. So, I don't know. It looks like my little 21 inches is working good enough. This All it's going to have to do is, like I said, get on email. Uh, get on PayPal for invoicing, and that's about it. So that's awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this down, let her just have it from start to scratch. Well, here it is. I got the little office done. Very small, but you know what? Maybe it'll make, be more manageable. A little whiteboard out there. I mean, it is small, too. It's just a closet. So one step gets you in and you're all, <laughs> you're in the middle of the room almost. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it because it's kind of comfortable. I've got a nice chair to sit in. Yeah, cute little office. Um, and the computer that I got for Mary Beth to do her stuff on. I mean, I couldn't beat this deal. And this was the seller. I'm looking at the seller is another guy that uh, has a whole bunch of listings and 100% positive. And I just gave him a great review because, as you guys saw, that his packaging was awesome. He even threw this in. So the price I paid for that computer, and he spent 40 bucks on that, and then shipped it to me. Well, I couldn't have bought. I never. I never see a computer on eBay that's comparable. That's even close to that cheap. So I think I did okay with that. Yeah, now I'm gonna sit in here and edit a video. Hi guys. First uh, video I've edited in a, my new little office. Pretty happy about it. I think it's going to be comfortable for me. Um, also did a little review on these, the headphones. I got to admit, they've been on for about two uh, and a half hours. And they're not really hurting me or nothing. I do feel a little pressure on my ears, but maybe I'm just so sensitive. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you get a little value out of this video. And I'll see you on the next one.